welcome back to our channel active catalysts so are you somewhere struck with the deciding of topic for your fifth sim mini project then here i am to help you hmm. just don't worry like i'll be giving you the steps guidance and all but i will be providing you the link that links keep on updating because i have to gather many projects from the github repositories so for each domain it may be ai ml just the ui ux designing based project or cyber security project so i will be creating separate domain repositories where you can get the project source code but you just cannot download it and run directly you have to download few of the extensions or packages that will be required okay so for that you can go through other youtube videos like how to download the link from the github repository download the source code and run the code and all those things i'll be giving but you are the one if you are the one who is thinking of sincerely doing it from your side rather than copying and pasting if you are the one who is seriously thinking to prepare well for this sim give best for this sim then your this video is specifically for you so i'll be giving you few tips that will make your project good yes first step is is it okay to copy from any of the youtube channel or github source i'll just copy it and paste when you can copy is when you know the concept well one thing or else if you don't know whether it is okay to copy yes it is okay to copy meanwhile you should also know like what is happening in that code in order to have know what is happening you can use the ai called black box ai where you can directly link your vs studio to black box ai so it will just tell you like uh, it will just explain for each line it will give you a explanation also if you want to make changes in the code you can just ask that ai that i want this icon to be here i want uh, something like hello to display something like that whatever you or changes you want to make you can just make it there it will get updated so from this you will also learn and also you will be smart in using the ai so for the uh, like how to integrate black box ai to visual studio you can check any youtube videos you will get it okay i'll not waste that thing again so the next update is like why it would be important is first thing you will be writing this as a mini project you can make even major project like if you are making something and you can continue the same project and for the fourth year you have to make one major project right so you can continue this only okay so one advantage is that and one more thing this project will give you or will make you to grab the opportunity of internship because if someone is selecting for you for the internship when you are applying for the next sem they will look at your projects so once you complete that project where all you can uplo upload again it you can upload it in linkedin github more than uploading everything and showcasing to the people you will definitely learn a lot once you do this project definitely you have to know something like html css but let us assume that you don't know anything you can learn just learn the one shots of both the videos like 2 hours 3 hours learn it in shortcut then once you are coding or finding code of any one particular project after learning this html or css still if you are not understanding don't worry black box ai is there to help you okay you can just type the uh, or copy that particular line or lines of code and ask it it will explain you more than the chat gpt it is good in explaining black box ai okay and definitely i'm sure that your college will give you the domain like specifically you have to do on this domain only so kindly comment the domain so that i can gather now it is not ready with me exactly like the content uh, but if you comment I, it will be helpful for me to gain the all the project repositories and update to you so you have to comment so that i can give you the github links and all you have to just refer but add something new of your own you can copy it but make sure you're adding any functionalities or any 
of the updates on the same project see once you learn that entire project definitely if you if you are putting 100% efforts and learning next feature you can uh, add it by your side only that will be possible from you okay but you have to put your sincere efforts next thing is choosing the teammates it actually matters don't like if there is a team of 3 let us assume at least one must be knowing css other one must be hard working other one must be good in ideas okay choose it in something like this even if you don't know anything definitely among three one should be good in at least css and javascript okay html css and javascript that is necessary at least one should have the basic idea or else your team will struggle in this just telling in common so how to choose a good project is go to your seniors and ask what they have done what difficulties they faced choose it in such a way that it is according to the new trend like ai you can choose ml you can choose cyber related you can choose whatever is recently uh, in trend those subjects you can choose blockchain related project cloud security so those projects are very uh, demanding you can do that also there are some good youtube tutorials where they have uh, like been teaching you from the basics starting from installation of vs studio they have taught it in very good way but look at the recent year videos only like there are videos which is from 3 years 4 years and all don't go that back okay why because the packages technologies have changed those code might not be working i know you are good in researching in the comment box yeah you can do that since you will be getting like 3 months always have a weekly plan that you will be doing at least this much thing in one particular week so that you can do something don't be like i'll sit and complete it in one night or one week that is not possible because this time it is a good project that you have to present compulsorily you might have like escaped in the previous sims but this is something you have to give importance because it has marks it that marks yes it will be written in the vtu marks card and also i would say you can use google collab like if you are working in a team you can use google collab where all like if you have three members in your group all three can code in the same uh, interface if any changes is made by one person it will be visible to next two persons also maintain a good documentation like when in this week you have updated this i'm sure that you will have a separate whatsapp group and all there also you can update so hoping that i've guided enough to start with your project so do comment your domain already i have added few ml projects you can get that projects link in the description so let's meet in the next video wishing you all the very best for your new project let it be a good journey